Iskcon temple in Toronto or anywhere. She just bought that book. It was also not in very good condition. She started reading that book. She understood the importance of chanting Hare Krishna. And even before she had met a devotee, whatever come to her temple, she had already started chanting. You know, just by reading that book, then she purchased from it a second-hand bookstore. She had just gone to a bookstore and she found it and she purchased it. So, by this spiritual association, that you may get either through the book or the devotees, we get transcendental knowledge. And there are many types of knowledge that you can possibly get. But these days, especially, there are educational institutions <clears throat> in every corner. Am I right? They say the two best businesses that never get hit by recession are hospitals and educational institutions, at least in India. So you have in every corner an educational institution and a hospital. Because people have always fallen sick and people always have a desire to get to know this. But here the emphasis is on transcendental knowledge. Just like in the third chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna questioned. He said, How is one compelled in the simple act in an unwilling way? To which the Lord replied, How is the clothing? It is all different from one by one. There is lust only, the all devouring enemy of the living entity, which is always burning like fire and can never be satiated. And further, the Lord said, Where is lust can be found? Where? Mind. Where? Intelligence. Intelligence and senses. But then the Lord says, with the weapon of knowledge, destroyed is eternal enemy. So, a similar point is being made over here by Jad Bharat. They say, by associating with exalted devotee, you will get perfect knowledge. And once you get this perfect knowledge, with the third of knowledge, you can cut the illusory associations within the spiritual world. What are the illusory concepts? Um, this body, this body is a medium for sense enjoyment. And we tend to identify what is temporary as permanent and what is permanent as temporary. And we just get entangled in a series of activities that are detrimental to achieving the goal of life. So we hear just behind the saying by associating with the Guruji who are presenting the pure message of Godhead as given by the previous of the Acharyas, one will be able to destroy the false concept of illusion. We can see from our own lives. I'm sure all of you, even though you may have taken birth in India, but all of you were probably entangled in so many nonsense activities. But after coming in contact with the body, you realize what's desirable, what's undesirable. Papa came all alone to the Western world with just 40 rupees in his pocket. But he took the full message 